we have seen a lot of uh, up and down movement in forex market uh, throughout this week and we are going to update our analysis as per that uh, so in today's video we are going to discuss forex only uh, gold and stocks uh, indices will be discussed later in the in this uh, weekend so let's start with the with euro see what's happening actually all right, euro is in front of us. We have seen a lot of price movement going up and down, and I um, gave an analysis that I was bullish. I was expecting today as bullish as well, but it looks like we are still going through a different correction than we thought actually. So there's a little change uh, in the labeling. The direction of the trend stays same. So I'm right now considering this price movement as wave A, and this price movement as wave B, and this price movement as wave C of an expanded flat which is giving us an indication that we are still strongly bullish on euro reason because wave B has created a new extreme uh, even beyond the end of wave A so that's giving us an indication that as soon as this pattern is complete we are expecting for the price to go much deeper than initially anticipated but at least in this area which is 1.019 uh, so we're expecting euro to be rallying upward giving us a larger correction pattern which will be wave A, wave B right over here wherever wave B enters whether over here or it can actually come down and then we have seeing a 5 wave structure so 3 wave structure, 3 wave structures and a 5 wave structure is uh, is expanded flat we can we are expecting an expanded flat not expanded flat elongated flat in which wave C is much larger as compared to wave A uh, we are right now going through the accumulation pattern right now this is the accumulation pattern and we are definitely it's looking more and more that we are going to go uh, high up in this area a similar sort of uh, behavior is expected in other uh, markets as well let's have a look at British pound and British pound is showing that pattern much better what we are seeing in euro British pound is actually showing that pattern much clearer especially the bill character right over here so I'm considering this whole price movement as wave A of an expanded flat this as wave B where we have created a new high beyond the uh, start of the wave A and then right now we are going through wave C right over here so wave A wave B and wave C this is once again accumulation pattern the larger correction that I'm looking for is wave A of an expanded flat I will not expanded flat but let's say it let's call it elongated fla flat right normally there's no not a name for it it's simply called a flat regular flat so wave A is here wave B is here right now and because of this much accumulation we can now confidently see that we are going upward right in this area so I'm still bullish on uh, British pound I'm still bullish on euro nothing has changed in that regard let's have a look at Canadian dollar and let's see what's happening now Canadian dollar has shown a little different pattern and some of you guys are not gonna like what I'm gonna show you guys here but this is what I'm seeing right now so a larger pattern is that I'm still expecting this to be wave A and this as wave B I'm going to discuss wave B in a bit and I'm right now as soon as wave B is complete we are expecting for the prices to get stronger as compared to US dollar I'm expecting a pullback down right over here as you guys can see that within the correction that we have started right from over here this one and we have created double bottoms actually right over here so right now I'm considering this as truncation of the the top right over here I'm considering this as first wave B and C within the three wave structure A B and C and just C is truncated within the wave B the larger correction itself is wave A I'm considering it as wave A I'm considering it as wave B and I'm considering this whole price movement as wave C and right now I believe that we are very very close to the completion of the correction or accumulation pattern is very close to the completion and if you want you guys can actually consider it as an A, a B and a C in which we have 5 wave structure correction and another 5 wave structure this is what I'm looking in Canadian dollar let's have a look at Japanese Gen Japanese Gen is uh, showing much complex um, correction within the correctional pattern we have first leg clearly on the bear side and then right now I believe that we are very close to the completion of wave B I'm considering right now initially as W and X right over here and a Y right over here so you guys can consider it as a double zigzag pattern as soon as this pattern is complete I'm expecting for this to be a 3 wave structure a 3 wave structure and a 5 wave structure downward in this region 
So I'm still um, actually here we can see that we have not seen a new high being created uh, I mean a new low being created in Japanese Gen so we can actually be a little comfortable that this probably is not going to be that deep but for now we'll just let's bring it right over here at around 62.5% we can definitely bring it right over here let's for now bring it at 62.5% right over here so this is being expected of Japanese Gen right now New Zealand dollar we have seen uh, a lot of price action volatility in New Zealand dollar so I'm right now still considering this as a three wave structure and a three wave structure and I'm expecting for the price to go upward in this case we are considering this as a double three structure right over here all right and I'm expecting that we are going to go a high right over here in this range reason is because we have created a new high right over here beyond this point giving us an indication that whenever the pattern is complete we are to see stronger price action going upward in um, New Zealand dollar so I'm bullish on New Zealand dollar against US dollar let's have a look at the US dollar itself which is DXY the pattern is more clear in here as well as compared to some of other patterns that we are seeing right now so uh, I was bearish from the top right over here and we can see we have seen bearish but we are still going through the accumulation pattern right over here so this is the first leg of uh, the correction this is the second leg of the correction I'm expecting since we have created a much larger accumulation pattern or distribution pattern in this regard we are expecting for the prices to go deeper somewhere in this regard uh, somewhere in this region which is 62.5 percent so I'm still considering this as a correction you guys can consider this as a wave A this as wave B and this as wave C <coughs> within the within the flat correction that we are seeing we have seen actually two uh, lows created beyond the previous low this is the previous low and the, we have two lows created this one and this one beyond this one which is telling us that as soon as this pattern is complete there's a possibility we can actually see it go all the way down right over here similar process goes right over here too we are not going to look for euro that is going to go right over here there's a possibility that it can actually push all the way right over here in that deep as well so be really careful I'm gonna keep an eye I'm still bullish on it as far as the price targets are concerned I will be more careful and I'm expecting that maybe next two three days are strongly bullish on Joro uh, I mean maybe in terms of time I'm not saying that maybe in terms of my bias my bias is clearly uh, towards weaker US dollar and stronger forex pairs against US dollar that's what my bias is especially in the currencies that I've discussed right in front of you so I hope that you guys like the content uh, please uh, share the content if you like it comment and likes or dislikes whatever you want to do thank you so much have a good one and please do press that th thumbs up and subscribe button if you are interested in seeing the content uh, I'll be sharing more content on gold and silver and we'll look uh, definitely look at indices uh, US stock indices and see what is expected. Have a good one and bye bye.